Hey guys, Alpha Fish here. Welcome back to another Lords Mobile video. So I recorded the last Dragon Arena that I did. Uh, it's September fourth. Um, so basically, there was like only a few players of mine that were able to join just because our guilds um, international and it's hard to get everyone together between uh, people having work, uh, jobs, schooling family studying so uh it gets pretty crazy but uh when we do we uh when i play when i join when i have time to do it um i try to coordinate everyone so uh we end up winning this uh dragon arena and we go up against several uh castles that are over 100 mil and i think i'm the only one that's even over 100 mil uh, amongst our guild that actually join this because there are other uh, castles in my guild that are over 100 mil but I'm the only one that was able to join that's over 100 mil so uh, actually a house catfish might be over 100 mil I can't remember off the top of my head but um, anyway we end up winning this but I wanted to talk a little bit about um, about how I strategize because uh, as you guys know uh, typically with massive guilds where you are able to get a lot of participants it gets really crazy and it's hard to coordinate like 60 80 100 people so um, I want to talk about what I do to kind of coordinate everyone so I came up with my own little system um, and my own little indicators so I basically I categorize everyone I give everyone a prestige level and it's basically P1 P2 P3 or P4 and it's similar to the guild rank system but instead you just put the P1 or P2 whatever it whatever prestige you are you put that at the end of your nickname so when you talk in chat, I, you know, everyone can see if you're P1, P2, P4, whatever you are. So basically it goes a little something like this. So if you are able to uh, send like full on five armies full of troops and then you still have troops left over, you are considered P4, all right? So if you have enough troops to fill uh say two to four armies you are considered p4 now if you can send one full army you're considered p2 and if you can send less than one full army you are p1 now what i've done with these prestige ranks is i have created a basic goal or job for each of the prestige ranks so P1's job is to try to capture as many buildings as they can sending like you know like one troop or whatever they're doing uh, so as you can see uh, as you notice that my guild has occupied a bunch of buildings and uh, probably about half of those have one troop in them uh, especially at the beginning of the game probably more than half of them have one troop and that's basically the job of the P1 now the P2 the P2's job is to go around and try to take back the towers that are not being uh, uh, that are not being targeted by the caravans alright the purpose of that is because we get extra points for each building that is occupied by our guild. So that's the P2's job, is to go around and try to take back those smaller buildings because they don't really have a lot of armies to fill. Now if they, or yeah, they don't have a lot of enough troops to be able to fill. So if, if they can fill, then, you know, they're more than welcome to. Uh, P3, P3's job is to fill and uh, fill army or uh, not armies uh, fill rallies and try to uh, reinforce it as, as well as much as they can um, if possible they can occupy buildings and try to hold them down because you know it's it you know they have higher higher research and so on and so forth so 
uh, they are able to do that uh, and kind of fill in the rest of the buildings if needed. And then the job of P4 is to, of course, host rallies and uh, hold buildings as commander, not just as reinforcements. So basically, P4 is like all of the above with the addition of uh, trying to rally and take back targets um, uh, or crush other uh, enemy players within the arena. So uh, depending on how many P4 players we have in the arena, uh, it could either be really easy or it could be really difficult if you don't have enough P4. Although it's nice to have P3, plenty of P3 uh, in the in the arena on my guild, in my guild. But if I have other P4, they can help me take back buildings. And uh, as you notice, I kind of struggle to maintain some of the buildings, but I do hold back or hold quite a few. And being that, seeing that I do have tier four there's only like one other player in this arena as tier four and they're on the other side they're on the enemy team so as you notice he does rally and take back uh one of his buildings from me just because his gear is probably a little bit better than mine i don't know what his gems look like but i think his stats are a bit higher than mine and when he rallied me he had uh, more troops than I did uh, reinforced so he was able to take that tower back although I don't know how it would have looked if he had less troops but he still took it back uh, and you'll see that here later on but I just wanted to talk about my prestige ranks a little bit and the system that I use to coordinate people uh, at a basic level uh, go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video cue the music